Okay, guys. Best time of year is here, finally. Um, it is Missouri deer season, and technically today is the 16th, so yesterday was opening day. Um, but Brittany and I were on our way back from Colorado, so I didn't get a chance to go out last night, but today I'm at it. Um, and I could not be more excited. I've got a book that I'm after, um, which I'm not gonna get my hopes up too much. Obviously, I'm hunting public land, so you just never know. There's so many variables um, that could affect even just seeing the same deer, let alone trying to kill him. So, um, and that being said, I am gonna be a little bit more picky this year, I think, um, simply because I know he's in there. Um, at least I think I know he's in there and uh, I call him blade because um, his brow tines are super bladed they look like knife blades and he's very symmetrical um, just a super unique uh, feature about him so I think he'll be pretty easy to spot um, and yeah so I found the sheds off of him this spring and I know a lot of you are gonna be like oh well, do you have any photos or anything um, no, simply because it's Missouri public and trail cameras are not legal. So I have not been able to kind of scout and like really find him, but I think where he is at um, is a very core buck area. So I don't think he would have a reason to leave unless something weird happened. So anyway, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but that's the plan. That's the goal. Um, and it's super early, obviously really hot still. So um, I'm not gonna really jump the gun too quick, so, uh, that's the goal. So, anyway, that being said, I'm gonna get on the road. I've pretty much got everything I think I need, and I'm gonna go hunt, and, uh, we'll kind of just take it from there. So, 2020 deer season is underway. the wind is not in favor of going in to hunt that buck and also I just got here and there's a guy parked right there so that's really discouraging but it's really hot out I think it's like 75 degrees which sucks but kind of why I wanted to get out here just to see. I think he's at his car. I'm gonna just try a different spot where I saw that first group of bachelor bucks last year. Kind of just hang on the edge of the field and really just get, get comfortable with the saddle. Just hang out. I'm not necessarily planning on killing anything tonight. So we'll see.
This is the field that I was overlooking at the beginning of last season where I saw that first group of bachelor bucks. I'm just gonna sit tight and kind of just learn what I like about this tether and, and uh, see what feels comfortable. So that's the plan.
almost shot the one in this group, but I just wasn't sure if the camera was quite on and I was trying to wait to draw because there's a lot of eyeballs, so anyway, it didn't work out, but that's okay. So we're going to try to get a little closer and a little more downwind because I guess they just don't like me right here. Okay, really quick, um, I went for a walk. And I left all my stuff here, but I jumped a freaking huge buck who is almost about a mile that way. So I'm getting all my stuff and I'm going to get down and go set up really quick and hope that, uh, you know, he decides to come back tonight. He didn't really even know I was there. I jumped him. I walked up on him. I played the wind right, um, just in case. It ended up working out. Um, I literally got like 10 feet before he got up. So, um, I don't think he knew what I was. I think he just got... Oh, what the heck, you know. So, that's what we're gonna do. 